Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how not to ship a collector's item. So in my case I purchased an old stock motherboard and a video card, all in open box condition. The motherboard might actually qualify for actually perfectly new, in a perfect condition, but he did test it so I still consider it open box. I did pay a lot for it, like $300, but it's difficult to find such stuff in Russia. And especially for that cheap, considering the shipping prices all across the world and the fact I can't even purchase things outside of Russia anymore without a huge fee from uh, intermediates. So here is the... Uh, box or not a box rather rather an abomination holy crap look at this this is so painful to look at why <laughs> why would you make this why did you make this dude this is just horrible take a look so we got the post tape all around the both boxes on especially weak parts as well. So these edges, as you might know, the boxes, they tend to deteriorate with time and the the glossy, shiny material that's that's the cardboard box coated with, it tends to, you know, skin itself. And so they just decided to put tape all around the weakest parts of the box that tend to deteriorate the most, the edges. Oh well, dude. I really appreciate it. At least I can make content of it. So this is a prime example on how not to ship a collector's part. So the next question is obvious. What am I going to do with this thing? How am I gonna bring it back to life? How am I going to get this box out unscathed. How am I gonna separate my products? I'm pretty sure there is no way to save the edges, but you know, I'm just going to try it. I'm gonna be as careful as possible, and yeah, let's just go ahead and get it over with.
here is the finished product oh boy did i have so much fun freeing that box from this sticky stupid film God. vandals anyway let's check this box out this motherboard i chose it specifically it's not just a random choice by your boy it's it's actually supporting so many processors that you can run anything starting from Windows XP ending with Windows 11. Well, I don't have Windows 11 as a physical copy, so but Windows 11 is Windows 10, so you guys get the idea. This motherboard is amazing, and <laughs> what's even more amazing is that I found it in a new condition on our Russian market and the fact that it doesn't even have Russian letters on it it's just even better basically we take those I don't know let's let's check what's inside this boy so check this out we've got lots of information coming in from all different sides including Quad VGA support, quad hardware RAID, quad security, blah blah blah, true 16 phase power. Basically, this motherboard is a motherboard of a power user, and we are power users, am I right? So let's let's open the box. How do you open it? Actually, oh, you open it from this side. B -b 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 moment of truth. Oh, what do we have here? We've got not only the old new stock motherboard, we also got four all new. Oh my god, dude. What? Damn. This is a surprise. Oh, wait, they aren't all new, but. Dude, I, I almost pissed myself. I, I thought these were completely sealed, but they are in their original boxes. We've got. RAM sticks, DDR2, 2 gig RAM sticks, four of them, and they're all Kingston. Huh. No, wait, they aren't Kingston, they're Samsung. Yeah, well, I was about to say, the seller told me he got four DDR2 Samsung RAM sticks, so... These are in fact Samsung, but they come in a box of Kingston. This is kind of weird, but I guess that does work. I mean, I, I'll take that. Looks pretty good, too. Let's place that all back in. No spoilers. This is going to be a video on my main channel. It's going to star and feature all these components that I just purchased and saved the boxes off. Can you focus, please? Yes. There is the manufacturer seal. Even though it's open, the fact that seal is still there, that says a lot. And let's go ahead and open it up. A cardboard box as usual for the ATIs. This condition isn't all new, this condition is an open box. So don't expect everything sealed. Oh my god. Okay, I'm pleasantly surprised that it comes in a in an anti-static bag as it is it supposed to be holy mother of christ look at this guy damn i'm gonna take it out here we go this is how it looks still got the factory so got the factory clips on the dvi ports and yes, this graphics card is DVI, DisplayPort, and HDMI exclusive video card. There's no VGA. And yeah. This is the model. This is the card. Pretty hype. What's below? Anything? There is a little box beneath the video card. 
probably empty, considering the condition. Oh, I'm bugging. <laughs> it's actually not empty. It contains all the sealed parts. And even a sealed sticker. And a sealed... <laughs> Dude, I'm about to cry. This is a sealed DVI analog to VGA converter. This is so cool. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so lovely, dude. I did not expect this to arrive with the video card, I'm just saying. Games for Windows Live, anyone? And uh, we also got a user manual. Here's how it looks. Well, even though this might be a spoiler for the new video, I'm going to unbox this all on my main channel soon enough. There it is, the ATI Radeon HD 5870. Very good. I appreciate that the seller actually saved everything for so long. This box is 11 years old, just so you know. Either way, thank you guys for watching and thank you for sticking around. We might do more unboxings in the future, but for now that's all we got. Yeah, that's all I have for you. Take care.